Have you seen the new stuff at Target? It's exploding once again, and I'm gonna take you with me and do a shop with me through the Target dollar section with all the kids stuff. Plus, I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked up. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are heading over to Target today, the dollar section to be specific because it's exploding yet again with a whole bunch of educational stuff for kids. Lots of things to pick from, lots of new things to see, some repeats from previous haul videos, but I wanted to show you what's new now. If you're new around here, make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this. I do educational activities for kids and ideas and inspirations to learn through play, so I'd love it if you would subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those videos. And then we also do some shop with me's and hauls so you can see where I source all of these great things that you can do with your kids at home. So grab a drink, some coffee, tea, whatever it is you like, and let's head over to Target and get right to it. And right off the bat upon walking into the store, I see they brought back the flashcards. If you haven't gotten any of these flashcards, these are a huge hit. I even found some in Spanish. If you're learning about Spanish, definitely pick those up. These play sets are 3D play sets. I look like they come in little cardboard chipboard pieces and you punch them out and you can have a whole play set. Lots of different styles in this, a princess one. Here is one that is bugs and flowers. You could do a lot of speech activities, developmental conversations, talking with these. I love this dinosaur one too. Super adorable. I didn't have these, so if you have them, let me know if you like them. Here's a robot one too, super cute. Finger puppets were also available for a dollar for the package. Your fingers fit inside the bottom these look like they had some stickers on them and they come maybe five finger puppets to a pack and then they also had some that you color your own and it comes with the markers inside too these would be super fun if you're gonna do a little puppet show I made a Dollar Tree puppet theater back in a video a long time ago that was a huge hit you might want to check out here are some paper crafting the paper planes and they also had some origami sets the monster one looked really really cute these are for bookmarks on your books for a dollar you guys these look to be killer deals deals. These kits I love, 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 love. I think they are great activities. They are ceramic items that you can paint. Comes with the paint set, comes with the paintbrush, and a lot of different options. The ladybug I think was the cutest, but these would be great for your Easter basket fillers. These were brand new and I got super excited about them. They are flashcards, but they deal with emotions and good manners. I really, really do think these are excellent if you're going to do some role playing, if you're going to do some activities talking about emotions or manners, and I like that they even have a little instruction card inside on different ways that you could use them. These cards are $3 a pack. And you guys are always asking me about activities to do for emotions, so these would be a perfect fit for that. It's done for you, you don't have to do anything else, and you could probably think of some different ways to use them too. Super surprised to see there's a giant rollable color cube. It's a color sorting game. You can roll and they have cards in here in English and in Spanish. You can do so many learning games. This is perfect for a toddler. I love the size of it. You could even use this in a classroom. This was a totally cool find at just $3. I really think this is amazing. There are a few pretend play sets. This one is a gardening play set, which I think is adorable. Comes with a smock and some gloves for pretend play. And I did see a couple other different ones when I was shopping. They also had these handwriting books, I guess is what you would call them, where you can trace and learn some cursive or some really pretty handwriting. They had a JoJo Siwa one, they even had a Mickey and Friends one, so if you have maybe a first grader and up, they might really like these to learn some hand lettering. Learning Resources had a whole bunch, a whole bunch of a different box games. They had early math games, counting. This one was a picnic party. Looks like you would just do some counting and early math skills as well as number recognition. Each one of these is $3 each and they're from Learning Resources, so they have to be amazing. This one was about the playground and it looks like it had a little spinning and you kind of move around the game board learning about colors, shapes, and numbers. If you have any of these games, you're gonna have to let me know if you like them down below. This one is called High Seas Adventure. Adventure. looks like it was early edition get it adventure and you're learning your edition facts as you go around the game board also three dollars for this one as well these are new to me but I kind of feel like they might have been around before they are activity mats it's a pad of paper with a whole bunch of activities in them looking like you could use them as a placemat maybe this one is going for healthy eating I found one for numbers they had a variety of tasks some that looked really really easy so maybe it could grow with your child as they get to maybe doing addition and subtraction later I'm not too sure I kind of like the activity levels to be around the same but you could probably pull this out over the years as your child's advance and then they brought back their activity books these are 
are a huge hit for the restaurant kits or for summer learning. There was even one for animals, which I don't think I've seen before. This is pretty cool. It's a tangram puzzle. I think this could go really, really far in shape recognition in the early years, color recognition, and they even had a color puzzle. These are all wooden puzzles. I haven't seen these before and they look amazing. These felt play boards, you guys, these are a steal. It's a board that has all these different shape out of felt. They had a car one, they had a princess one. These are amazing finds. And also they brought back a whole bunch of felt sets. Some cooking ones, some cookie ones, some vegetable ones. These are great for imaginative play. I love them and I love the prices and value. And look at this, it's a clock, a felt clock. This is so cool. I did an activity about telling time. This would have been perfect for it. So be on the lookout for these felt play sets. They are a win every single time. These magic kits looked pretty cool. They had several different ones as a box of magics from the Discovery Channel. And they even had some of these other box games that talked about emotions. This one's an emotion matching game, which I think is great for recognizing emotions. This one is called What Should I Do? Like a situational role play kind of game. Very interesting. Once again, it was kind of hard to tell if these were good or not because you could only see what was on the box. So if you do have them, I want to know about them. Tell me down below if you think these are worth it. They are $3. And this one looks kind of like a Candyland situational game. Not too sure. Very, very interesting. I like that they have all of these emotional and life skill games in the Target dollar section. This one is called Paint Shop. It is a matching activity and I really do like this one because it's also in Spanish. So if you want to learn some simple Spanish words for your colors, this would be a lot of fun for sorting those colors into the game box. And look what's back. It's the Find It Fast cards. You guys have been asking me about these every time I show them in a restaurant kit. They are like the popular game called Spot It. Definitely a win. And look, these are matching emotion masks. So you can draw your emotions on the mask and do a whole bunch of role play for a dollar. And look, they come in all kinds of different styles, different hair colors, skin colors. I think these are amazing and these are probably gonna go very quick. If you need a growth chart, they had a few cute ones. I love this rocket ship one. You can hang this up on the wall. They also had a flower one if you wanted a kind of more of a floral theme, outdoor theme. And then this one right here, which was your kind of traditional tree one. So lots of fun on these and they are made out of felt and they are super, super cute. These were around a few years ago and they're back, but tons more different styles. They are for your bathtub. They stick right onto your bathtub wall and they are amazing. But not only did they have some really fun imaginative play sets, they had learning sets like this alphabet one and they even had numbers. You could even use these outside of the bathtub. Oh, and this one is pretty cool too because it has the sides on the geometric shapes. Uh, lots of learning that can be done with these both in the tub and out of the tub. Gag gifts were a plenty. Check out these whoopee cushions and all different kinds of themes. The names were just cracking me up. If you haven't given your kid a whoopee cushion yet, you should. It is hysterical if you can stand it. I think it was so much fun when we did this. These are all part of the gag gift series, which there were plenty of at this store, including magic tricks. Check out these. These are all a dollar each. They are box magic trick sets, one trick per box. I thought these were pretty amazing and I was very curious to see if these were work. So some of them came home with me and I'll show you in my haul at the end of the video, which ones I ended up with. They also had larger ones that come with a couple tricks in one box for just a couple dollars more. So you could look and pick which ones you really wanted to try. Here are some sticky ickies, <laughs> There's some animals in there. And then a whole bunch of gag kind of gifts like the spilled ketchup one. They had like a severed finger. <laughs> they had all these crazy different gag gifts that you could get. I'm not too sure about these, if they would really last if you wanted to use them for a long time, but they were kind of fun to look around. Even this fart machine was kind of interesting. And also this one right here, which was a mini spray toilet. Not too sure about these, but you know, every kid's different. So you might have one that would be super into this. Here's even a squirt bow tie. I mean, come on. Oh, and look at this one. Eyeballs, <laughs> eyeball specimen. So funny. This one actually kind of looked funny for Halloween. You might want to pull these aside for later on in the year. Also in this guy gift section, you could find some of these little games that you can put inside an Easter basket, like these rats where you fling them across the room. Or if you're more daring, maybe you want some flinging poo. Yes, flinging poo. Never thought I'd say that in a video until now. And then here are just some more of the kits. Like I said, there were a lot to pick from, a lot to choose from. And even something that was kind of like a magic eight ball where you'd ask a question and on the bottom you flip it around and it will answer your yes or no question. 
just like the Magic 8 Ball. Kind of fun, I like these a lot. And as I was walking away, I did spot one more. This would totally gross me out if this was on my plate. <laughs> and even a dribble cuff, tons of silly gag gifts. Going back to some of the felt playset, this is a pretend mat that looks like it attaches to a chair, but also you can wear it as an apron. How interesting is that? And it comes with some felt accessories to use with it. Very, very cool. I like that Target's doing a lot more of the felt learning kits. This is amazing. And this is a color your own puzzle for a family tree. This is pretty cool because I know lots of people do this in school. So it's kind of fun that it's a puzzle and a tree and fill it in yourself. And then here's one for the, like a map, like our planet. I felt puppet theater. This is adorable. You could use those with those finger puppets that I showed you a little bit earlier in this video for $5. It just kind of folds up and it can travel with you. Definitely like that. And then here are some more of those find it fast cards. There are more themes. This one was a travel theme. And then back here we have kind of an outdoor adventure find it fast theme. Each one of these packets are a dollar and each one has different findings inside. Here are some puzzle kits. I thought these were kind of fun for your preschooler. They're jigsaw puzzles in a bag. This one was a farm theme. I also found a trucks theme. So it makes me think that there's more of these out there, but my store only had these two. And then these boxes, I saw several of these spread throughout. They've had these before where it comes with a little box and you can actually stick it in there like you have your own garden. They are all felt and it's $5 for the box. I made a video on how to make those a long time ago. This would have saved me a lot of time and money. A few more games were around the corner. A princess adventure for two to four players. This is ages six and above. Looks like a just really simple, simple game. And then these were adorable. They're tooth fairy pillows that you color yourself. Comes with the little markers for $3, several different styles. I couldn't really decide which one was my favorite. I think maybe I like this last one right here that was a tooth just because it's more traditional. Super adorable if you have the kids that are now losing their teeth. And these are huge mats, tic-tac-toe mat, a backgammon mat, and then even um, a checkerboard mat. So you could take these and roll them out. They floor, store flat, put them in your car for traveling, if you're going camping on the beach, something like that. And then I checked out the other games over here that I missed, like this one right here. It is the Safari Adventure for two to four players. And like I said, I'm unsure about how these games are played. So if you have them, let me know. I wanna hear what you think about these games. There's so so many to choose from. And then also my store had some felt food, which I think these are actually better than the ones that come in the packages. So if you wanted to kind of stock up on some felt food, these are kind of like the Ikea ones. And then I ran into this whole section. There was too much to show you of all these little kind of painting kits, all spring themed. These had clips on them, like you could put them in a garden. And then they also had a whole bunch of these little kits here that are sew and stuff kits. I've tried these before in the past in Dollar Toy Test and they are pretty great. So they had several different styles of these. I'll show you more in a minute. And lots of these scratch off kits. Um, here's a paint set that comes with the palette and the paint so you could use them to paint in. Lots of other things, I think that's a bargain too. And then a whole bunch of other little arts and craft kits. Like I said, this section was a mess. It was really hard to kind of show you what there was. Definitely love the sun catchers. Always a win for a nice, fast craft to do on a rainy day or in the summer when you want something to do. They even had pet rocks this time. I'm not too sure about this one is kind of funny but it looks like a little caterpillar you could draw or these little bugs they're kind of fun that they come with a couple in a packet and these are little jars full of different activities this one was a terrarium you can make they even had some where you could write your own rainy day activities on here like a boredom buster i thought that was pretty fun these are fun little summer gifts that you could give to classmates at the end of the school year and they just were super cute i like how they're all packaged and all of the materials come in it and it's three dollars for the jar and this one was cute too it was had little rainy day activities on it. I love the ceramics. These come with the paint that you can paint your own. And then here are some more of those sew and felt kits. So you basically would decide on the style that you want and then you sew them up and add on all of the accessories to make them a full animal. And of course you would stuff them with the stuffing provided. These were adorable. I think these would also make really great craft kits for friends. Maybe you buy a couple and keep them on hand in your gift closet just because they are a really good value. Adorable, I love them all. Couldn't decide on a favorite. Well, maybe the rocket ship was kind of cute with the alien. 
These are great for sensory kits. If you have a child that likes those little sensory inputs, they are squishies with all different sorts of faces on them and different colors. They are $3 each and they are from a name brand toy company. Definitely like those. And then here's one more of those gardening kits. And of course I did pick up a few things and I wanted to show you what I got. So first things first, I wanna show you the paper kits that I ended up with. These are each a dollar for each packet. This one is the paper airplanes. We have the Oregon origami bookmarks and then the origami critters. Now I haven't had very good luck with the origami. If you've watched past toy test videos, I've tried ones from the dollar store. I've tried ones from Daiso. So we're going to try these only because here on the package, it says it's for level K and up. Eh, we will see. This is definitely going to go in a Dollar Tree toy test that I have coming up very soon. So if you want to see that, be on the lookout. This one makes six critters. This one makes eight bookmarks. Although this one I have to say looks a little bit easier. And then this one makes four airplanes. My girls really do like making paper airplanes. There's also stickers on here so that you could decorate each one. There's some face stickers for the monsters and then some face stickers also for the animals. Another paper type craft are these tissue paper art kits. They had seven several different styles. I only got two. They are a dollar each. So we have the flower and the ladybug. They had a bumblebee. I think they had a different kind of animal. <laughs> I don't remember. They come with the frame and the pieces, the tissue paper to go on it and a little string to hang it up. And it looks like some instructions in there as well. So a little fun spring craft to try. I did end up getting another one of the Find It cards because my kids love, love, love these. These stacks are perfect for the restaurant kits. And this one is the, what kind of theme is this one? This one is the rainy day theme. So in here it tells you all the different things at the top there of what comes inside, but for a dollar you can't beat this. And they had so many different themes this time, so you're bound to find one that really, really would work well for you. Basically, it's just a really simple game where you flip over the cards and you try to find the matches on the two cards. And the first one to find the match wins that pair and whoever has the most pairs at the end of the game wins. It's really, really simple, but it's a great visual discrimination activity. Really, really perfect for preschoolers as a first game all the way up through different ages. All kinds of ages love this game. These did come home with me and I'm not ashamed to say it because my kids love them. Another restaurant kit win. I will have to say that these containers are actually better and sturdier than the last container the tube ones so I like that they're a dollar each there are name brands of these two that I equally love as much that are not compatible with these that would be the plus plus brand I love plus plus brand they have so many different versatile things but if you want a really really cheap affordable option this one is the way to go because it's just a dollar per tube and they had several different colors I already had another tube of these and I couldn't find a second one. So I got one more of those. And then these two are the neon kind of translucent colors. Many of the games there are too young for our skill level. However, this one did catch my eye because it is an addition game and we're still kind of working on addition facts with my kindergartner. This is called High Seas Adventure. It's one of those learning resource kits for $3 each. And it says it's an learn early math skills as you ride the waves in search of hidden treasure. No, oh, island treasure. And it teaches addition, counting skills, and critical thinking so we will try this in our toy test video as well and let you know it's for ages five and up and some of the other ones were just a little bit more simpler which is why I didn't choose those they were just kind of counting games but if you've had a different experience and you found one that I haven't seen let me know I would love to hear about it the magic tricks looked like a lot of fun. And once again, I can't wait to try these in the toy test either. I picked out these four. They are all a dollar each. They have one trick per box. This one is, looks like a cube trick. This one has kind of a little ball inside a container. This one has some dice trick in it. And this one has like another ball and cup trick. These are all for ages five and up. And they also had larger kits, which I did not get that had three tricks in them for $5. And then they had some even bigger ones. I didn't see the prices on those though. And then I ended up with two of the flashcard sets for the emotional learning. This one is practice being a good citizen and this one is good manners. I haven't opened them up to China check them out yet, but these will be in the dollar toy test as well. But if you look on the back, it kind of gives you an idea of what to expect inside. And I think that maybe we should do a video on activities on how to use these because you guys are always asking about emotions and emotion activities. I do have one video about emotions. If you want to go 
go back and check that out too if you're really interested in doing activities about emotions. What has been your favorite Target find recently? Let me know down below in the comments. I love to hear what you guys are absolutely loving. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.